a peculiar interest in regards to what the former question was is that some people can know the future and yet not know themselves. <laughs> so they can see the future because that's the way their consciousness is set up, right? or the causal body, we can call it the causal body, and how it's functioning for them. Right? But they can't help themselves, but they can see the future, and they can know what's going on. And that's kind of a fluke of sorts. But there are those who can read, but they can't help themselves. Mm. Come on. So then how, how important is it for somebody to know themselves? It depends. Different. It may not be as important as reading the future. Mm. See? Mm. Because we, we have uh, <clears throat> knowledge of so many different kinds of readers, famous and unknown readers who have that ability and some go into a trance and they don't know anything about it how is that they have no idea they're in the trance they don't know what they said they have to record it or somebody has to note it or, or hear it and feed it back to them because the unconscious is, is doing the functioning so then it's a matter of how the unconscious is functioning in anyone's case and it, it, you know there's, there's no limit and, and no actual description that we have to account for some of these abilities the unconscious has or is liable to perform or demonstrate to anybody. How do you know anything, basically? How does the mother know when something's going on with the children? And yet they can be thousands of miles apart, but she feels it because they're connected. See, she knows. She's, she's straight wired to the children on an unconscious, maybe maternal or psychic level. See, and then even she doesn't know, except she's the mother. So she should know, but it doesn't mean that everybody who's a mother knows. See, see, come on. Mm -hmm.